Burns said, Genesee Country Village and Museum presents history in powerful and engaging ways that create a strong emotional connection with history and help us better understand who we are as Americans today. Oh, well, we have a Rochester in Illinois, too. Oh. It's farther away, though. History is so cool because it's like, boom! And your brain just explodes from all of the things that you learn. You get to actually interact with the characters that the staff provide, and you actually get to see the buildings and touch all of the artifacts. Unlike a museum, you can't touch anything. At summer camp, um, the things we do, we like, go and help animals, feed them, make sure they're nice and healthy, pick crops and eggs. We play games. Although the people are staging something for you to see, it's hard not to get caught up in the emotion that you're witnessing and seeing. You can read about it, and that's fine, but when you actually see it and when you live it, it's, you really, it really clicks. Just as important as the historical structures and artifacts on display, Genesee Country Museum takes special pride in the value of preserving stories. Well, Jack Whaley was a stickler for detail. And as he built the museum, I remember visiting and we were touring through the Hosmer Inn and Jack was walking around picking up objects off of tables and telling us about it. It astounded me, his knowledge of the contents of the building and was demanding on those who followed to develop the same passion for the place that he had. Stories have always been in our lives and we connect with them better than just facts. And if we give people just facts, then they're not going to learn as much as if you tell them a story that they can remember um, and make a connection possibly with it. The reason that I'm involved in reenacting are stories that my grandmother had told me about my ancestors that are, were involved in the Civil War. It's kind of a wonderful moment when people, you know, their eyes light up and they understand something, especially with children. Their eyes get big and they say, oh wow, and that's a really exciting, gratifying moment for me. We embrace the words of Thomas Jefferson, who said, the people are the ultimate guardians of their own liberty. History, by apprising them of the past, will enable them to judge of the future. I think when people know how they got to where they were, and they have a historical perspective of things, they can take the positive aspects of it, repeat those things. They can look at the mistakes that were made and avoid those types of mistakes. As a teacher, I think it's very important for people to understand their place in history and what happened before them and how they fit into it and makes them a more well-rounded person. Well, I started out in the summer camps and since then I've been able to volunteer here and then I ended up getting a job. It's not so much a job to me as like a lifestyle. I've always just loved history from a small age. Well, someday I would like to be a camp counselor and help the kids learn more about the animals, crops, and bugs. Genesee Country Village and Museum is a vital asset to our community, a means to educate, to preserve the tangible remains of our past, to add value to our quality of life, and to help our local economy. Genesee Country Village Museum is so helpful to the businesses because it brings people into our community. They stay in our hotels, they eat in our restaurants, and so that's a great economic impact. There is no community the size of Rochester in, a, in the region that has the arts and cultural attractions that we have here. And the Genesee Country Museum is a huge part of that history and a part of our legacy. Well, we know that in New York State, tourism is one of the leading industries and it's something that the state has worked very hard to support. Now, some people like sports, some people like history, some people like nature, some people like the arts. Genesee Country Village and Museum provides many of these things. It's really a treasure that we have in our backyard. If the museum was not here, it would be a great loss for our community. We depend on your support in every way. 
please help us to inspire excitement and curiosity about the past and an appreciation for its relevance today. I don't think that when the museum opened in 1976, Jack viewed it as being complete. He wanted the campus to expand, he wanted the programs to expand. We now have these virtual tours that are available for people to see. We've got a Civil War balloon. Not something that Jack would have thought about, uh, but he would have loved it. And to me, this museum is one of the best community assets we have. And we, the business community, individually, and the foundations all need to support this to sustain it because it's too good to let go. I challenge everybody to get behind this incredibly beautiful museum. Support it now. Don't let an institution like this ever close. Keep it going, keep it strong. Well, I'm really in a unique position um, because I'm, I'm a young interpreter and I really want to pass down the history to newer generations. But we really do need help. Help me to keep this alive. We work to preserve your past. Please help to preserve our future.